Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Gia. So today I'm going to be working in the Little House on the Prairie journal. This is my giveaway journal for when I hit a thousand subscribers. But first I have to show something. And this is for Barbie at Nellie and Ruth. If you see this, I have to show you this because I was grabbing a, a file folder off my shelf to get something out and another one fell off and it happened to be one that had personal stuff in it. <laughs> and this fell out. I could not believe it when this fell out. And this is in um, from your uh, video that you just record or I just watched it. Your hallo had your Halloween stuff in it. And this fell out. This is from the year that I went to um, nursery school. I'm in here. And look <laughs> at all of these costumes. And no, I'm not Casper in this. Look at all of them. <laughs> look at all those little box costumes there. But if you look right there that is me <laughs> yep that's one of my mom's handmade costumes <laughs> but there's sure a lot of those boxed costumes we were talking about with the plastic little things that go over you and you got the little those little masks that about melted our faces and That fell out on the floor out of that little folder and I thought, oh, I have got to show that. <laughs> but that is our little nursery school. First step nursery school. <laughs> so, yeah. My mom made some fun costumes. I tell you what, that was one of them. <laughs> I knew immediately. There's no names or anything, but when I looked at that, I thought, yep that one right there that's me I have to verify with her but I know that's me because I only wore these once and I was a lot older than that the year I talked her into it so it looks like one other kid's parent came up with something but the rest of them or maybe this one and this one I don't know that looks like one of the box things too but anyway I had to share it and that looks like a homemade one there too but I had to share that so Barbie that's for you <laughs> So I'll probably put something in the in the title, the Barbie look, so you <laughs> Nelly and Ruth look or something, so that you'll you'll see that. <laughs> uh, I thought that was fun. I didn't know I had that picture of that Halloween. I might have to scrap like that. Anyway, those old costumes <laughs> came in those boxes, and uh, I talked her into it one year. After that, I went back to those homemade costumes because they were wonderful. <laughs> so, okay. Now, um, I went to crop a couple weekends ago. We get, we have crop the first weekend or the second weekend of the month. I can't remember. Maybe the second weekend. I don't know. No, it's the first weekend. First weekend. The second weekend is Bible journaling, so it's the first weekend. And I did work on this a little, a little bit. So I thought I'd show you... Um, what I did, what did I do? Okay, I did this, and, oh my goodness, what happened? These are supposed to be belly bands, and they are glued down. <laughs> oh dear me, I wonder what happened. Oh no. No, no, no. Okay, well, this one's a belly band. <laughs> I wonder what happened. They were belly bands when I did it. This one is really glued down. That one is not a belly band at all. I wonder how that happened. Okay, well, you have one belly band now, because this one is down, down, down. I mean, it is completely down. 
That is wild. There is no picking that up. I'm going to tear it up if I try to get it up. So anyway, um, I'm going to have to get that glued down a little bit better. Let me see if I can use some glue stick. It's, it's a vellum piece. So I use some different stuff than what I usually use because I raided my friend's scrapbook room. It's the friend that I go out and help her organize a lot because she's got this gigantic room and lots of stuff. If you hear me talk about going out and helping her get her room put together, it's her house because she had a lot of stuff she, inher she inherited a lot of stuff from her cousin that passed away. So anyway, this is um, supposed to be two belly bands, but it's just one. Wow, that's a bummer. I'll hold this up for you to see. I thought it turned out really pretty. This, um, on the other side is real shiny, and I think it's supposed to be coral, but I just thought it looked like you know, something that would be growing on the prairie and the grass and stuff. I thought it was really pretty, so I turned it over and I just inked it up real good. And then there's a little, one of those little fabric roses and then a die cut I found in the stuff. And then I don't know what this was, some kind of leaf. And then on this side, I kind of did the same thing, only I don't have this big thing. And I put a butterfly that I found in her die cuts. I thought that turned out pretty. And then this side, I just did a pocket here. And then I just made a little cluster with some things I found. And that took me all day. <laughs> no, by the time I did all that, I was getting nervous because I want things to be, you know, pretty and everything. And I thought, okay, I've done enough. Um, and so I just, I said, what do you need organized? So I started organizing some things. <laughs> So I did that. So that is what I did while I was um, at crop. I didn't have anything ready. I don't remember what was happening, but I didn't have time to get my stuff ready to go. So I just grabbed this basket of stuff and took it and did that. And then, so that's what I did on this. So now today we're going to start doing another page in here. And we are on the third signature. Now, I have to be honest with you guys. I don't know what happened. But the first signature has six pages in it. This signature has six pages in it. And this signature has one, two, three, four. So I don't know what happened. But I can't just come add any because everything will be out of order. So I don't know what happened. I kept thinking, why is this so much thinner than the other? I didn't think to count it. So if I can come up with a way with pictures that are just generic to add a page in here, I will. But otherwise, I don't want to add later pictures in here and take the pictures out of order because, um, you know, if the person that gets this is a Little House fanatic, the first thing what they will notice is if they're looking through here and these pictures are out of order and the story is out of order. That's something that I'm very particular about in my journals is that the person that gets these, they, the story is in order. So, you know, it's a couple pages slot shy in the, in the middle, but... That's the way it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we're going to start here. Then we're going to work on this. I'm going to set this to the side. I imagine what happened is I did something like this, set it to the side, and somehow I missed a paper when I put it back together. And I'm sorry about that. So we're at Freshwater. And we're going to take these two. I like this picture better than the one where they're trying to get him out. So we're going to do this one. Um, so I think I'm going to, I kind of have a little bit of an idea here. 
And one thing I want to do is save this fresh water. We're going to use this one and we're going to use this one. So I'm going to make sure. Well, let me see if I can get this semi straight. the title on here I believe maybe it'll fit so I'm going to prepare for that <coughs> excuse me still with the scratchy throat depending on what order I put these in there may be a scratchy throat like yesterday and there may not be <laughs> it may be hopping around okay this off to the side. My husband's working in the kitchen, that's what the noises are. And you never stop a husband from working in the kitchen. At least I don't. And I may overthink that, you know, about being in order, but my first one I made for my granddaughter. And as I was looking through her journal, I thought, this is all out of whack. And it reminded me of when I was a kid, my parents I went to the drive-in to see Gone with the Wind. And they got that all messed up. They, they had it so messed up. And one minute, they were at the barbecue in the beginning. The next minute, they were driving through the fire. And then the next minute, they were, like, after the war. And then the next minute, they might be back at the barbecue. And, I mean, it, it bounced all around, and it was so confusing. They had it all messed up. <laughs> I was like, what is going on here? Oops, I want that side to be torn too. You know, I think I'll put that on my trimmer because I'm never going to be able to tear that. Get the big trimmer out. It's the exact same kind of tear, but it'll look okay. Because I'll never get that with my oh come on what I had to tell that I meant business didn't I Well, after I saw hers, which she doesn't care, but I thought if I'm going to make these and sell them or give them away or whatever I do, I want them to be in order. And so that's what I do now. Okay. Now, let's set these things up. And I already messed up. I meant to glue that on a piece of paper to make it thicker and then tear it out. I'll have to figure that out. <laughs> I'll just cut it out with my trimmer. Oh boy, I messed that up. So 
how is the weather where you're at? We've been having some warm weather, but it's real rainy out, and the rain is ushering in winter, and it's going to get cold tonight, and it's going to stay cold. So we are done with the lovely weather we have been having. It has been nice. This is just a piece of cream cardstock. I'm going to glue this on because otherwise this is thin paper and after trying to stick tags or whatever in here, it's going to bust through and I don't want that to happen. So I thought that I would um, put this on some cardstock. Four degrees when we were in town, and then the rain started, and within about a half hour it was 64 degrees. <laughs> yeah, they weren't kidding, it's gonna change. weekend of yard sales and stuff was last weekend because it was absolutely gorgeous last weekend. If it was this weekend it wouldn't have been as much fun. <laughs> there, that worked pretty good. I just gotta ink it up again though. I hope is this the same size now or do I need to You know, I probably ought to put that on something, too, because I was going to make it a little belly band. But it's almost November, so I, mean, I guess it's time for winter to come ushering in. I went to the Amazon store and took my oil diffuser back in and asked if I could exchange it for a different kind. I got a different one. It seems like it'll be better. She said, yes, and I'm going to take those off of the shelf. I'm not having that in my store. <laughs> That's what they do. So. I really like the lady that owns it. 
my uh, daughter used to clean her mom's house, so it's kind of like, I don't really know her, but kind of do. Okay, so I thought I'd put this down here, and put this up here, and then I was hoping this on somewhere. I hope whoever wins this likes things inked up. <laughs> I'm an inker. Okay. So put this up here and this down here. Maybe put that down here. Maybe in the middle. Not sure. Don't think I like it at the top. That there, that there. We're going to put a trim here. I kind of just feel like I want it here. Yeah, I think I like it right there. Okay. I feel like I want something there, too. I didn't know that I was going to want something there, so I'm not sure what I want there. Hmm. What might that be? Let me pull my little basket over here so I can see what I might have. This. What might this look like? that pen. <laughs> huh, I like that there. Um, let's see. This, let me find, I've got it laying here, what I'm going to put on. But I thought I would put down the side. Ouch, just stuck myself. Let's get my pin cushion out. I keep meaning to put my new pin cushion in here, but I keep forgetting. I got me a new one. That's my old, that's from when I was in high school in home ec. <laughs> what I thought I would put down the side is this. So if I have that down the side. How will that look up there? And I think it will look fine. Okay, let's put this down the side. Get that on there. up a little bit because that's cut wrong. Okay. Oops, it's about pinned it to my sweatshirt string. My string from my sweatshirt got caught in it. <laughs> Do I have that ink enough? I think so. I mean, I can go a little wacky with the ink, can't I? Make it. Do I want... I should have had my... Well, let's get my heat gun plugged in. Maybe we'll do that in a minute, because my heat gun's not plugged in. I'll have to wait a minute here. Do I have an extra glue stick down here? I guess I do. While we're waiting on that, oh, I just messed up my things there. Okay. While we're waiting on that, we'll get the pocket put on. So, we'll go ahead and we will glue this onto here. I doubt you can, can you see? Yeah, because I had my washi tape here, but. It's in the wrong place, so I'll just take it off of there. It's kind of in my way. Okay, this needs a little bit more ink on it because it's not really standing out. Now, 
put it out on there like that. I don't know why, but I like it there. So I'll put a little bit of glue on the bottom and then some glue on the top of this. That way I'll make sure it's connected on both sides. I didn't put glue all the way to the edges because I knew it wasn't going to need to be there. Did I get it enough? Yep. Okay. So then this will go right here and that's going to go right there. I think I will make all of that glued because that's not very strong. So I don't want that that part to be part of the pocket. We'll just make the part that's got cardstock part of the pocket. That's plenty of room for a pocket. There's my fingertip. I went in too far with it. I'm gonna peel it up. Oh, <laughs> whoops. me. It keeps sliding on me. Oh, wow. I almost didn't have enough. Put a little bit too much extra on the other end. close. Okay. I was trying to make up for that and well, almost. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you just saw what I, I thought. I didn't glue that at all. <laughs> Sometimes the things I do. <laughs> uh. <Goofy. laughs> My husband just came to the door and stared at me and called me goofy. glue my stuff on it first so that I don't accidentally glue it down. So 
we'll glue it right there. to cut that because um, I don't want to damage my good scissors on these little pearl things. Okay, this was a fast one today. Hold it up so you can see it. Here we go. Maybe should I go down just a little bit? I saw it in my camera when I stood up and thought maybe it should go down just a little bit. There we go. There we go. I love, love, love this background paper on this one. So we have a pocket here and a little belly band kind of tuck there. Tuck something little in there. Well, thank you for joining me today. You have a blessed day and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye-bye.